In this video, I'm going to go over linear programming, that is, utilizing QM for Windows in a linear programming problem. And the problem that I'm going to use, I should say the data, is on page 283, and that is problem 29. When we look at linear programming in our so-called decision-making process in business, there's really two and only two objective functions. Number one would be maximize profits and number two would be to minimize our expenditures or minimize our costs in the production of whatever we are doing. So when we think of linear programming we have two specific categories of either uh, maximization of profits or minimization of cost expenditures and that would be what is the objective function? Oh, it will either be maximization or minimization. And number two would be to identify, to write out the constraints. Um, linear programming is nothing more than what you've done previously in, in algebra, i.e. solve equations simultaneously. But the nice thing about QM for Windows is it's going to do that for us. All what we have to do is identify what the objective function is and then to identify the constraints that we're utilizing in either a maximization or a minimization situation. So from our standpoint, uh, as I made mention of the fact that we're going to look at it from a maximization, we want to be able to determine the optimal output solution for maximization. So what we're going to do, uh, as you can see, I'm already in QM for Windows. So we want to go up to Modular, click on Modulars, and simply scroll down to Linear Programming. And you'll see, okay, in this window here, we are in Linear Programming. Go up to File, and select New. And we'll have another drop-down menu. And you'll have a title. And why don't we just go ahead and say Linear Programming, LP and then number of constraints. Well, if we look uh, 283, page 283, 29, we can see maximization of profit is $4 of X and $6 of Y. That's the so-called objective function. And it is subject to two constraints. X plus 2Y is less than 8 and 6 plus 4 is less than 24. Those are our constraints. So we have two number of variables. We got two variables, X and Y. So we'll just go ahead and say OK. And our get a new window and X1, X2. And what I like to do is just go ahead and identify X and Y, since that's what we have in problem 29. And the maximization uh, is $4. And that simply means that the profit derived from selling one unit of X is $4. And of course, the profit derived by selling one unit of Y is $6. And then for our constraints, constraint 1, it's telling us that uh, uh, 1. And for Y is 2. And we are allocating 8 hours. So what this is telling us, whatever constraint 1 is, is that in the production of producing 1x is going to take one hour and in the production of y it's going to take two hours and we've allocated eight hours that's that's our constraint we can only use eight hours up to eight hours and then for constraint two um, we have six so whatever six is and y would be four and we've allocated 24 so we're maximized, not maximizing, but we have a total of 24 hours that we're utilizing. So once again, for X, six hours, for Y, four hours, and we've allocated whatever constraint two is, is 24 hours. So there you have it. In other words, we've identified our objective function, $4 plus $4 and $6, and then our constraints. And so really all we have to do is go up here and solve it, and it's telling us, um, oh, the solution is 2 and 3. And 
26. So what this is telling us is that, in other words, the optimal output solution is to produce 2 of x and 3 of y, and we will maximize our profits of 26. This particular approach to linear programming in regard to uh, maximization is based on the corner point solutions. And if we come down here, and if we kind of look at the graph, and you can see the graph here, and the graph is telling us uh, all within, I guess this is purple, these are all, it's, it, this is all profit, right? This is all profit. All these particular combination of, of y here and x here gives us profits. But if we look over here at our corner point solution, there is only one optimal solution. And that's why I've been making reference to the optimal output solution. And you can see 2 of x and 3 of y is 26. And we have other possibilities on the corner point solution. Oh, we can go ahead and we can produce 0x, 4y, 24. Still making a profit. Or I could go with 4 or I could go uh, with 0 and produce a profit of 16. But there is only one solution where I'm going to make the most money. And that is 2 and 3 is 26. So you can kind of see uh, the relevancy of linear programming in decision making i.e. it'll tell us. In other words, if we know what our objective function is, if we know what our constraints are, it will tell us what the optimal solution will be to maximize profits, just not making profits. So hopefully uh, this overview of linear programming and the, uni in the utilization of uh, uh, QM right, for Windows in linear programming uh, will be helpful.